I think something that has touched all of us in every single community around our province, and that is the epidemic of drug overdoses that we've seen, not just here, but all over North America. Fentanyl has become an, a real plague. Um, and I think all of us uh, see people and know people for whom it has had absolutely devastating consequences. Families that are so irreparably harmed. And then for those of us who haven't had a direct experience of it, the knowledge and the fear that, the, that any of our children, our grandchildren, our nieces, our nephews, our brothers or sisters could somehow, through recreational drug use, ingest fentanyl and wind up dead. We were the first in the country to declare this a public health emergency. We were the first to assemble a joint task force. We were the first to deschedule the life-saving antidote naloxone. And today we are the first to establish a dedicated center on substance use. This will include a $10 million investment, $5 million for the inaugural BC Center on Substance Use, the very first of its kind in Canada. And I want to thank the man who spearheaded this initiative, Dr. Evan Wood. He has been a leader, a fighter, and a visionary on behalf of people who need help. The other five million is going to be going to the, to the uh, budget for the task force to help them continue their vital work, making sure that they are making naloxone more available and increasing our testing capabilities. They are going to continue with us to work with Ottawa to crack down on fentanyl entering our borders. But we all should acknowledge, we all must acknowledge, that every single one of these de deaths is not just tragic, it is absolutely preventable. And we must stem this epidemic on our streets. We must protect our children.